Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Proforex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Global's beginner tutorial and this is our part 4. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about web server and version detection globals in WordPress. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress Global's tutorial. So basically guys, as we know that we can use various types of web servers to our local system. What are those servers? For example, suppose we are using called HTTP Apache server or Microsoft provided called IIS server. Or suppose we are using called ng Inx server. So how can we detect those servers by using our WordPress global? So in WordPress there is option, there is some parameters. By using those global parameters guys, we can detect our global server or our local server inside our local system. So for the definition point of view guys, those parameters actually which detects our web server is called web server global parameters. So what basically version detection global parameters. So if we want to detect our WordPress version as well as WordPress database version. If you want to require, if you want to suppose detect the required PHP version or the required MySQL version for our WordPress setup. So along all these getting informations about those parameters are called version detection global parameters. So let's start about web server detection global parameters first. So this is our slide. So inside this slide guys, as we can see that here, we have four different parameters. These are the global parameters provided by WordPress. By using these parameters guys, actually we can detect our web server to our local system. So these global stores data about which web server WordPress is currently running on. Suppose this is our system and we have installed called Apache server and now on that Apache server guys, actually we are running a WordPress project. So by using is Apache, it returns a boolean value, it means true or false. It returns true, it means that our server is using Apache. So how can we detect that? So if you go to editor, this is our single page template. So inside this file, I am going to detect our web server inside this local system. So let's say that is Apache. And now let's say that within h2 tag system is using Apache server else system has no server. So if I save this file, go to browser and this is our front page. So if I reload this page, as we can see that system is using Apache server because we are using Apache server. Okay. So while getting is Apache true, it executed this line. So basically guys, according to the provided list of global parameters by WordPress, you can use in your application. Suppose you have called IIS server provided by Microsoft or suppose IIS 7 and something called ng Inx server. So along with going through all these parameters, you can detect your web server at your local system. Now next, what we have next? Next, we have called version variables. Version variables basically gives about the idea about the different different types of versions. So here we have some global parameters list. The first parameter something called WP version. Basically this will gives about the WordPress version. This is WP DB version. It means that it will give the version number of the database actually the WordPress uses. This is called TinyMC version. Means if you go to WordPress setup, go to administrator panel, click on post section, click on add new. Now inside this add new post guys, as we can see that this is a tiny MC. So what basically this tiny MC version is, this is detected by our global parameter and the global parameter is something called tiny MC version. This is our manifest version that is something called cache manifest version. Now what actually the WordPress required PHP version, this will detect it by required PHP version. And now this is our MySQL version means what basically the MySQL required version of our WordPress setup. 
So here we have the list of all version variables of WordPress. So let's use this variable first. So if I copy this parameter, go to our editor and if I suppose make all these comments line about our web server detection variables and let me declare that global and something called WP version. Okay. And if I make echo, so let's say echo WP version, save this file, go to browser, reload this front end section. And now as we can see that we are using call 4.9.9. This is the currently actually running WordPress version. So this is we are getting by using call WP version variable. Also, we have another option to use this global variable as something. So if I copy this WP version, get rid of this dollar symbol and let's say that globals and inside this single quote and paste the key name here. This is key name means this is a variable name. So if I save this page, go to browser, reload this page and now we have the same output something called 4.9.9. This is our WP version. Again go to slides. Next we have called WP DB version. So if I go to editor and let's say that global WP DB version. This is a global variable. So if I make echo, let's say that WP DB version, save this file, go to front end section, reload this page. And now if I just make echo and something called BR tag, save this page. And also let me make some of the formats. So this is about something called WordPress version okay and this is something about WordPress DB version so basically save this file reload this front end page and now as we can see that this is our WordPress version and this is our DB version so all we have done about the two parameters as we have seen. So if I copy this tiny MC, go to editor. And now if I am going, if we want to declare another global, global parameter to our file. So in that condition, we don't require to declare as the global parameter something again. Okay. What we have the option, we have just comma separated and this is our variable name. So along with this single keyword global, we can declare two parameters globally. Okay, so if we want to use our tiny MC version, copy that and let's say echo, just make a separate line, echo and tiny MC version and paste it here. So if I save this file, reload this front end page, and this is our tiny MC version. Now, if we want to tag the minimum PHP version that actually this WordPress setup requires, means what actually the minimum version of PHP we want to install before this WordPress setup. So if you go to the list, we have another global parameter, something called required PHP version. So if I copy this variable, go to editor. First of all, we have to declare that. So this is the declaration and let's say echo separate line minimum php version and i'm going to use this variable so if i reload this front page so we want the minimum php version something called 5.2.4 means our wordpress version something called 4.9.9 will run successfully on the minimum platform of 5.2.4 so basically guys, by the help of this video session, we understood about the global parameters which detects our web server as well as the global parameters which detects our version of different different things. So I hope guys, if you have any query in this video session, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.